Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have yet another haul for you. Are you guys sick of these yet? I mean, I'm not sick of them, but I have a Sephora haul for you today. I got this stuff about a little bit less than a month ago, so I wanted to share these things with you. And I have not only one box, but I also have a second box to go through. I placed two separate orders. Sephora, about a month ago, they were doing like 20% off all of their foundations. And I was like, okay, now's the time I wanna try out some foundations that I've had my eye on for quite a while. So primarily that's what this is, but I did pick up a couple other things as well. But as always, everything will be linked in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video and you enjoy hauls. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go. It means so much to me, like always. And there's a lot of new faces around here. So hi, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just dive right in. Okay, so I'm going to start with the smaller box. Now I'm just gonna randomly kind of pull things out of this box. So the first thing is the Algenist Gentle Rejuvenating Cleanser. Now I have been using this and I really like it. I've not noticed like a huge difference, but it's very gentle like the name says and it's also not stripping. I hate cleansers that leave my skin feeling dry and just like the Sahara Desert and this one does not do that so I really do like that for that reason. And yeah, I heard about this from the, she's on Instagram, I think her name's Kelly. I can't remember her user handle but I'll put it like somewhere. But she's a makeup artist and she was talking about how much she loves this cleanser so I picked it up per her recommendation and so far I love it. However, <laughs> the smell of this is absolutely horrible. It's like rotting leaves or something. Like I don't know how to describe the scent. Yeah, it's just like, it's a weird scent. It doesn't stay obviously once you wash it off, but it's, oof, it's just, it's not the best. So if they could come out with a different scent, that'd be great. But it is also like a super thick formula. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that, but it's like really, really thick. So yes, I've been using this and loving this. I'm kind of always in the market to switch up my cleansers. So, so far so good with this one. And then I also picked up an eyeshadow palette that I've had my eyes on. And this is the Master Matte eyeshadow palette from Makeup by Mario. I have heard nothing but good things about Makeup by Mario. And so I really wanted to try this out. The thing is, I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, so I was going back and forth on it because I was like, do I really need it? Like, it's not something that I wear all the time, and I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes already, but I decided to grab it because literally everyone and their mother was talking about it, and I was like, I am a neutral gal. I love my neutrals, and this palette just screams neutrals, and I just absolutely love it. Like, look at how gorgeous this is. So obviously, you guys have probably already seen this. It's all over the internet but that is what it looks like and the shadows in here are just so creamy and blendable they're not like overly pigmented to the point where like you pack on too much product and you're like oh shit like how am I gonna get this to blend they are very very blendable and like they're the perfect amount of pigment if you know what I mean like it's really easy to build it up but you don't start off with like too much I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever but they are just absolutely stunning. I will show you one on my hand. I am wearing this palette today for the first time. I love it. And there's like velvet on your hands. It's just, oh, like look at that. Look at those colors, I just love it. And these neutrals are just so warm toned and right up my alley. So if you have not picked this eyeshadow up, you definitely should. It is just amazing and lovely. And it just screams fall. And if you're curious of what I have on my eyes today, I have this shade, this shade, and this shade. So I just kind of mixed the three, and so far, I really like it. Okay, now on to the foundations. Oh, just kidding. One more product that's not a foundation. This is the Summer Fridays Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. So as the drier, colder months come, my face gets so incredibly dry, so I love going in with like a face oil before like my makeup and letting it kind of sink in. And so I picked this one up because I love Summer Fridays, just their skincare, like their products that they come out with, I really enjoy. So I figured I would love this one as well. And they just recently 
launched this so it hasn't been out for that long but this is what it looks like it is just so pretty it's just a facial oil it doesn't really have a scent but I have not used this yet but I cannot wait to it's just my skin hasn't gotten to the point where I really like need an oil so once it does I'm going to probably use the heck out of this and also a little tip is I sometimes mix this into my foundation just to make it a little bit more hydrating so I'm excited to try this little bad boy out and then I bought three foundations in this order so this first one I wanted to talk about is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation and it says it stays all night and day I'm sure you guys have already heard about this it's a pretty popular foundation but I got the shade 7.5 now I'm not sure if this is the right shade this is actually the only foundation I have not tested yet but I don't think I got the right shade um, so that's why I haven't tested it if I can get it out of the packaging it looks like this basically it claims let's see to be a full coverage foundation with a flawless matte long-lasting finish so I I don't know what has happened to me but all of a sudden I want more of like a matte foundation I've always been more of like a natural glowy gal so I don't know what is going on but I was just like I want to try all the matte foundations especially because I don't have any because I've always been a more natural to dewy finish gal so I picked this one up and again like I just don't know if the shade is right I need I need to try this out but I've been trying the rest of these out so just haven't gotten around to it yet but all of these shades I got in my self tan shade because 99% of the time I have my self tan on or my fake tan today I do not I actually stripped all of it off in the shower just earlier this morning so I am very fair so none of these foundations are gonna look like they match me because I'm just super pale but yeah I'm excited to try this out I'm just a little bit nervous because I don't think this is deep enough so we'll try it out though and I've kind of tossed around the idea of doing like a video showing you guys all of these foundations and like what I think about them so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments below and I can definitely make that happen but I feel like it'd be kind of a fun video to show you guys what all of these foundations like look like on so if you are interested just let me know and then the next foundation that i picked up is the giorgio armani luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation and i have the shade 6.5 now this is a repurchase because i already have this in a lighter shade and i wanted a shade that would match my fake tan and i almost think i need to get a shade darker than this i think it's like shade 8 versus this 6.5 because when I wore this the other day with my like fake tan on it almost was like too light you could still see like the line from my fake tan so I think I'm gonna order a shade darker than this but I love this foundation you guys it is such lightweight like it does not look like makeup on your skin at all it's got a very natural dewy finish which is just absolutely stunning and it just basically enhances your skin it doesn't cover a whole lot it's like more of a light to medium coverage but it just looks so good and it looks so good in photographs too it's just one of those that I will reach for all the time if I'm going for like a very natural pretty look so I had to get this in a darker color while they were on sale because I was like I need that in my fake tan shade especially because I am fake tanning way more than I used to so I picked this one up and then the last um, item for this order is the forever or Dior forever 24 hour wear high perfection skin carrying foundation with sunscreen and this one is the forever matte I believe and I got this shade 3n neutral you guys I've used this a couple times and this is so freaking gorgeous I think I wore this in my Abercrombie and Fitch video that I just posted and it is absolutely stunning and flawless this is like an exact shade so as you can see like right now I'm as pale as a ghost but this is like my fake tan shade so this is what the bottle looks like and it is just absolutely stunning I love this foundation I definitely think it's going to be a contender for my wedding day makeup so if that says anything I don't know but 
it is just amazing it's definitely full coverage and but it still looks like skin it still looks not like very natural especially for a full coverage foundation so so far i love this bad boy okay so now we are going to dive into the second order that i placed and again starting with the non foundations <laughs> the first product that i picked up was the huda beauty easy bake loose powder again this is a recommendation from kelly on instagram i just am obsessed with her ever since i found her instagram account i just went down the rabbit hole with watching all of her igtvs and she just has the most stunning natural makeup like i just i'm obsessed with her so obviously i will you know pick up anything that she recommends because she has that same style when it comes to makeup that I do so I picked this bad boy up now I already have this powder in a different shade this is the shade cupcake and I have pound cake which pound cake is more of a yellow powder and this one is more like your skin tone but it has more rosy tones to it because I do have a cool undertone with a lot of pinks so I picked up this powder and I used it today and holy cow you guys I am like locked and loaded like I am ready for the day I don't think this foundation is going to move whatsoever because it is like like we are we are locked we are locked in but with that being said I don't see it like it doesn't look overly cakey it didn't adhere to any of my dry patches i actually have a patch over here that's like really dry and it did not cling to that whatsoever so i really am enjoying this powder now it is heavily scented so i mean that's kind of annoying because you know not everybody loves a very scented product but nonetheless it is gorgeous and this is what is this is what it looks like and I just, I love it so far. I just wanted a powder that would be really good to set my makeup and hopefully prevent it from transferring to my mask. And so far, I love it. I'm gonna test it out today though when I wear my mask at work, so we will see. And then yet another eyeshadow palette, even though I said I don't need more eyeshadow palettes, but this one has also been talked about like crazy. This is the Patrick Ta for the eyes major dimension eyeshadow palette and I just you guys I got suckered in like these shades just look so pretty and it's again like so highly talked about and raved by so many people that I was just like I can't miss out on this like I need to know what the hype is Ooh, I'm thinking one of the shades cracked because oh my god there's powder everywhere <gasps> you guys I'm almost certain there's a shade cracked in here. Oh my gosh. You guys, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to show you this. But this is completely shattered. Like that shade is completely shattered. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to send this back and get a different one because that is... I literally have eyeshadow all over my floor. I love that for me. Ooh, oh my gosh that is such a disappointment I literally hate when that happens it's like some shadows and some products like get shipped to you and they're like just fine and then you always have that one product that like explodes I freaking hate it so anyways I will pop a picture on the screen here of what it looks like I'm sure all of you already know what it looks like but sadly this is completely shattered so I'm gonna have to send this back and get a different one but nonetheless, the mattes in this palette and the shimmers and like the sparkly shades just looked right up my alley. Very neutral and I just cannot wait to try it out. But unfortunately, that'll have to wait a little bit longer. And then last but not least, I have three more foundations. So this first foundation in this order is the Liss Beauty Triple Fix Serum Foundation. Now I got this in the shade MN5. And this is a perfect shade match for me as well. I don't know like what it is, but I've been nailing the online shades recently. Like it, I've just been having really good luck. I don't know what it is, but this is what it looks like. And I tried this out and this is honestly such a good light to medium coverage foundation, but it has those added skincare benefits to it. 
and on the box it claims to to have hyaluronic acid turmeric and ashwagandha if i'm saying that correct i think that's an oil it says satisfy your skincare and foundation fix at the same time with this clean light to medium coverage foundation that's infused with nourishing skincare like ashwagandha hyaluronic acid and turmeric to enhance the look of your complexion this undetectable serum foundation instantly diffuses the look of dark spots pores fine lines and imperfections without masking your skin's natural beauty and i can 100 percent agree with that because this is absolutely gorgeous on the skin it definitely is like a serum foundation so it definitely has that more light coverage but it definitely how many times can i say definitely but it does diffuse the look of your pores and just makes everything look more even and flawless so i have been loving this foundation and i believe this is a newer brand as well and then another foundation i picked up which is an oldie but a goodie <laughs> um not to give it away but this has also been talked about for so long it's like such an og product and i don't know why it took me so long to pick this up but this is the makeup forever matte velvet skin and i have the shade y355 again another perfect shade match for me and it just looks like this it truly does look like velvet on your skin it is an absolutely stunning foundation it is medium to full coverage and it definitely lasts all day so this is another one of my favorites that has quickly climbed the charts for me and then last but not least i don't know what i was thinking i feel like this was like an oops but i got the fior forever skin glow so like i said i got the matte version earlier but i also wanted to get the glow version because i do like a glowy dewy look however i got this in the shade 4n versus 3n and you guys this is so dark i am not this dark when i have a fake tan on so this is definitely going back and getting replaced with the shade 3n especially considering that's like my perfect shade so yeah as you can see there's quite a difference between the shades here obviously i'm not fake or self tanned right now but even if i was this is still like way too dark but i definitely am excited to try this especially considering the fact that I love the forever matte version. So yeah, that is it you guys. That is everything that I have ordered from Sephora recently. I cannot wait to test out that eyeshadow palette. I'm like really super bummed that that completely shattered because I was really looking forward to that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.